Goldman Sachs out with a new note over the weekend predicting that the Fed will cut rates by 50 basis points at or before its next meeting later this month and an additional 50 basis points sometime in the second quarter. Goldman also says to expect action from policymakers in Canada, the UK, Australia, India and more. Steve Leisman joins us right now with more on the Fed's options. And, and Steve, on Friday we were talking about all of these things with Kevin Warsh. It looks like uh, some of that was prescient and what we might expect, at least what other Wall Street banks are expecting. Yeah, we had that statement right there. But, but look, as fast as the Wall Street people cut, uh -huh. the markets cut sooner, beginning to price in drastic cuts from the Fed that may come on an emergency basis. J.P. Morgan saying in a note it cannot rule out rates going to zero. Wow. Take a look at these March probabilities. I have to continuously adjust my spreadsheet that totals these up yeah. for more drastic measures than I originally thought or more drastic expectations. So wait a second. The, Nobody's looking for a 20 25 is out. Point? There is no bet on that at all. No probability decide... whatsoever. We didn't even have that at the table like three days ago, three trading days three ago. ago. Yeah. 63 percent chance of a 50 base point cut. And now I put on there the idea that they're now toying with the possibility of by the conclusion of the March contract, 75 basis points of cut right there. What does the Fed think when they see the market jumping to numbers like this? I think they wish the market would give it a little more time than it wants to have. But, but hold on, because I want to yeah. show you the outlying months as well, which gets to what Santoli was talking about over here. Guys, you have the next chart. So this, these are the 50 percent probability at that month. So the 50 percent probability or greater that you'll be at 0 09 by March all the way down to December. <clears throat> at 04, this keeps plunging. And Faroli, who we follow very closely, said he can't rule out a zero by, you know, within some period of time here. And like I said, our fast economists at Goldman marked down their forecast or their outlook for the Fed. The market goes a step further. The new development in Goldman's thinking, this is what's important, and other economists, is to escalate the effects from supply chains to the U.S. consumer. Here's what they told uh, clients over the weekend. While the U.S. economy avoids recession, in our baseline forecast, the downside risks have clearly grown. Our analysis suggests that in a more adverse scenario, the impact of supply chain disruptions on U.S. producers would grow quickly and consumption cutbacks driven by virus fears could be quite large.